from the students of Airwaves Media. Bringing you news in and around Alma High School. You're watching The Airdale. Welcome to the Airedale, I'm Destiny Wheeler. And I'm Ben Mitchell. Today we'll be talking about concurrent courses, prom, senior plans after high, after graduation, plus much, much more coming up on the Airedale. The Airedale. Over the course of the years, students at Alma High have had drastic changes in their life. But how have they changed? Stetson Goodson talked to some students here at Alma to find out what ha did happen to their lives. Many people's lives have changed throughout the year for many different reasons, but the students here at Alma have changed their lives through the bonds that they build. Well, my life has changed through my extra activities. I'm in choir, basketball, and band, and it just helps me more socialize. Last year, it was I was still not talking to a lot, but now, now a lot of people know me through all the different activities. I also am in a lot of different leadership roles and take leadership and this has helped me uh, experience and ha has changed my view on things. It's quite a bit different than how it was last year. Last year I was kind of, I was really quiet and really secluded and did not interact with people very much. And this year I've come to be more social and more um, outgoing. I've met more friends, I've had a good time here in Alma High School, and uh, all together it's been a fun journey. It has changed in the past year because of ROTC, and ROTC has helped me develop a sense of leadership and a sense of responsibility among the new cadets and your subordinates, people that you listen to and have to give orders to if necessary. And so it's changed my life because like, I've been able to do more things, essentially. And I have wonderful ROTC instructors to help me if anything happens or if I need someone to talk to. So it's been like a gateway to more possibilities. The Stetson Goodson from Airwaves Media. Are you interested in pursuing college? College level courses are available for students to take here at Alma High. Sarah Nutt has more information on these classes. As a high schooler, some students may want to prepare themselves for college. Or maybe they're looking for a bit of a challenge during class. Well, concurrent courses are the perfect solution. Concurrent courses are free college level classes that students could take here at Alma High School for college concurrent credit. Concurrent courses are college level classes that we teach here at Alma High School um, through Arkansas Tech. So we teach the same material that an individual is going to get at Arkansas Tech. Same testing level, same amount of work. Uh, we try to make it as equivalent as possible to being at Arkansas Tech in whatever class they're taking. To be able to take these classes, you need concurrent credit, and in order to have that, you need to score a 19 or above on the ACT test. If you meet that requirement, then here are the classes available for you to take. Well, we offer Introduction to Biological Sciences. Uh, we have College Math, College Trig, College Algebra. We have World Civ 1 and 2, Comp 1 and Comp 2. And next year, we're actually going to offer U.S. History 1 and 2. I'm Sarah Nutt with Airwaves Media. Prom is a high school tradition held at schools all over the U.S. Recently, Alma High School has held their 2023 prom. Levi Stringfellow and Dane Barker take a drive into this popular event. Every year, juniors and seniors look forward to prom. We asked our fellow students what they're most excited about. Um, well, I'm really excited to be able to hang out with all my friends and just have a fun time. Making memories, I guess. Uh, I've never been to a prom, so it's going to be fun, I hope. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people there, so. We also asked our peers what they think the school could do different next year to make the prom more enjoyable. I definitely wouldn't try and fit juniors and seniors, all of us, into that crab tree. It's, it's hot. I've heard it's going to be the same, so just not the crab tree. <laughs> So the prom that I went to was my freshman year, and it was definitely an experience. So what I have to say about this year is 
I wish that it was at a different place, like if they could book it out or even if they could cater or something like that. I know that all the other schools kind of go over and beyond and our school kind of just puts it together. So I wish for my senior year that it would be a little bit different of where it's held, but I don't expect it to be much different from how it's been before. This has been Dane and Levi with Airwaves Media. Every year, Ama High School's choir department orchestrates a spring concert for parents and students alike to enjoy. Braden Peppis and Caden Dasbitt have more on the matter. This year, just like every other, Alma's choir program hosted a spring concert, and it was their last concert of the year. All choirs learned songs before this time to perform on stage for an audience. The show was free, with no cost to enter, and anyone from Alma was allowed to attend. The students this year were excited to perform their songs, with each choir having different songs to sing. There was also an outstanding musician for each choir, which was voted on by the students. The concert was held May 9th at 7 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center in Alma. All of choir hopes to see you next year for their next spring concert. This has been Caden Daspit and Brain Peppis with Airwaves Media. High school combines many different people with le many life goals together. With the seniors se recently graduating, those people have branched off into many different paths. Ben Mitchell explores what our senior plans to do after high school. The year is quickly coming to an end, and while some seniors are scared of it, some already have a bit of their life planned out ahead of them. We here at Airwaves have decided to ask some of our own senior members what they plan to do after they've graduated. Go into some type of sales, um, AT&T or something kind of like that. Go into broadcasting years down the road, and then also go into ministry, church ministry or kids ministry. So I plan on attending the University of Central Arkansas in Conway, and I'm going to major in broadcast journalism. After high school, I plan to study in the medical field to become a CNA, so I can help people, children, etc. Our Alma seniors are leaving us, and while that's a sad truth, let's all at the high school wish them a loving farewell. This has been Benny J. Mitchell with Airwaves Media, and the whole school wishing them love. <laughs> Mother's Day is a special day of recognition for the people that literally brought us into the world, our mothers. There are many different traditions that people do for Mother's Day, like taking your mother out to eat, helping her with different things that she needs, gift giving, and much more, but that's not the only thing that Mother's Day is about. Cole Howard and Joey Lynn talk to AHS mothers about what it means to them. Every year, all mothers in the world look forward to Mother's Day. We interviewed Mrs. Sykes to learn more about what mothers do for Mother's Day. Um, I think my favorite part now that I'm a mom is just getting the arts and crafts that my kid usually makes. He usually makes a card for me, and so that's my favorite part. You can celebrate Mother's Day by planning a big surprise, giving mothers gifts, or even telling them how much you thank them. My favorite thing that I got from Mother's Day was he, when he was in preschool, my son made a little card that had his footprint on it and his handprint, and so I got it laminated and kept it. There are estimated 2 billion mothers around the world right now, and Mother's Day is celebrated in more than 100 countries. I will be going to church with my husband and kids, and we will be doing a Mother's Day parfait where we have breakfast with the kids, and then hopefully taking a Sunday afternoon nap. This is Cole Howard and Joseph Lynn from Airways Media. School uniforms. Are they hot or not? Abigail Spencer and Peyton Phillips uncover the op the opinions of students here at Alma about this con controversial topic. School uniforms are not very common among Arkansas. About 20% of American schools wear uniforms. Do students at Alma want uniforms? We ask a few students their opinions on the matter. I think uniforms are a great idea because not only do they ensure that every student is dressed um, well and appropriate, they also like I said, they create a sense of unity in the, in the high school. Schools who require it report that a uniform allows for more cohesion in a school setting and less bullying. I wear it because it just, I, it would have to be a pain to wash every day or every other day and sooner or later, later you'll get tired of it or it'll be like uncomfortable. It also removes outfit-related peer pressure, but it doesn't allow for student individuality. I would not willingly, nor would I, 
enjoy the wearing of the uniform. Uniforms are restricting to my personal identity and how I identify myself through clothes. They're also extremely uncomfortable, and how am I going to learn if I'm uncomfortable? This has been Peyton C. Phillips for Airways Media. There's an old saying that seems to hold truth in life. You are what you eat. Destiny Wheeler has more on the effects of food on your physical and mental well-being. As we go on with our daily lives, we are constantly being affected by several things like personal struggles, daily disturbances, or maybe gut bacteria. Recent research shows that gut bacteria is linked to positive emotion and good emotion management skills. Bridgeham Women's Hospital published an article on neuroscience news that proves how our emotional health is connected to our physical health. Yang Yu Li, an associate scientist at Bridgeham's training division of network medicine and associate professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School, once stated that many studies have shown that disturbances in the gut microbe can affect that gut-brain axis and lead to various health problems, including anxiety, depression, and even neurological disorders. Now that we know how gut bacteria affects our emotional health, what steps can we take to better improve our physical health? Well, luckily there are several different things that we can do to better take care of ourselves, like exercise, eat a healthier diet that is easier on your GI tract, and drink plenty of water. I'm Destiny Wheeler with Airways Media. TSA or Technology Student Association is an organization that is all about, you guessed it, technology. This summer they are traveling to the National TSA competition. Aiden Mills and Declan Sanders have more on this topic. TSA is having a competition during this coming summer. The competition will be held in Louisville, Kentucky. We interviewed Layden Richardson from TSA. The competition, the competition for TSA would be very friendly, it's a very diverse area and people from anywhere can come and do it. Uh, the competitions is not just about going to a higher level, for example state or nationals, but it's also figuring out your limits and testing your limits. The competition for TSA has a bunch of categories to compete in like animatronics, biotechnology design, coding, digital video production. I am going to Louisville, Kentucky this year for nationals and I'm going for problem solving. This has been Declan Saunders and Aiden Mills for Airwaves Media at Alma High School. The AHS chapter of FFA, or Future Farmers of America, traveled to state competition. Evan Sanderson was there to cover the highlights and see the action firsthand. State FFA convention is a convention every year that happens annually for the Arkansas FFA Association, where all the chapters of schools come together and recognize the highlight the awards won, and their accomplishments throughout the year, as well as students get to hear from motivational speakers. They also get to attend a college and career fair and expo, where they got to interact with colleges and career personnel, where they got to explore agricultural industry. Here's why we went. For many students, um, they're receiving awards or they are um, competing if they've qualified for a leadership development event on the state level. So for a lot of um, chapters, that is one of the big reasons to go. But also um, for any chapter, it's a requirement to be able to go and voice your opinion for the upcoming years, the next year's state FFA officer team, which is chosen and elected during state FFA convention. So that's one of the um, big reasons to go. But in addition, there's a lot of opportunities for students just to be able to explore opportunities available to them in FFA that they may not have known about, um, network with other FFA members and businesses and colleges, and then also um, just get to hear powerful messages from motivational speakers. I'm Evan Sanderson. Summer break is <laughs> summer break is right around the corner. Many people have plans like trips or even just work. But we wanted to highlight what some of these people in Alma are doing this summer. Hunter Cole asked around to find out more information. Summer is approaching quickly, which means that school is out. It sounds like the theater program is cooking up something interesting this summer. Let's see what they are doing. Uh, my plans this summer, as far as the school goes, we'll put on a drama camp for uh, K through 12th grade. We do a summer camp where students from the district come in who sign up, and we put on a musical in one week. So they come in every day, and we rehearse. Uh, and then at the end of the week, their family and friends come in and, and uh, we perform the show for them. So that's a lot of fun. Um, the, about the third week of June, our high school students will be traveling to the 
International Thespian Festival at Indiana University. And so they'll be competing there, performing there, and then watching shows. That's an awesome week for them and, and a great trip that we're looking forward to. Tell you what I'm not doing is getting up at 3.30 in the morning, like I do now. I'm going to catch up on some sleep a little bit and uh, all my daughters around to their summer activities and probably go on a vacation, a little short vacation, and do some home renovations. School is out over the summer, so teachers don't usually go to work. But what do they do? Let's find out. Oh, what do teachers do over the summer? That, um, you know, that really depends on the teacher, but most of us, you know, just try to, uh, try to take it easy if we can and just try to recharge our batteries for next year and, and um, you know, the next school year. Um, you know, that, that could be all over the board. Teachers may travel. They may travel across the country. They may travel to uh, other countries if they're, if they're lucky to do that. Uh, but I would say most, most uh, teachers are probably spending as much time as they can with their families. Relax. Oh, hopefully, hopefully relax. Uh, that's their time. I and mean, that's kind of the payoff for teaching, right, is you get that big, long break. But uh, I know a lot, of, a lot of teachers work. A lot of teachers travel, spend time with their families. It's, if, you ask, if you ask a group of 10 teachers, you'll probably get 10 different answers on what they do. This is Hunter Cole and Hunter Brewer with Airways Media. Thanks for watching this episode of The Airedale. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, make sure to follow all of our social medias at Airwaves Media. And as always, Go, Go Airedales! Airedales.